big box etc marketing concepts marketing concept emphasizes the importance of a consumer in a business all businesses exist to satisfy the needs and aspirations of consumers marketing mix marketing mix are various marketing strategies which a firm offers to the market in a given time in order to bring about sales and maximize profit there are four elements of marketing mix we have product price place and promotion products it is an item which a firm offers to the market for onward sale to the consumers the important aspects of the product are quality life cycle variety that's product needs packaging branding and others like timing and effects price it is an exchange value of a commodity expressed in monetary terms like 10 naira 100 naira 1000 naira etc the fixing of an appropriate price for a product is quite is quite important it determines the success of a business also and place these are areas where the goods will be sold so variable locations i mean areas towns cities etc where the goods will be taken to and display for sales and we have promotion it is an art of persuading customers to buy the goods it is done through these methods like uh, advertising, sales promotion, publicity, trade fair, etc. Let's review some questions. What is promotion? State and explain five activities involved in the promotion of a product. Promotion is a marketing activity aimed at stimulating demand for goods and services. Activities involved in promotion include advertising. This makes consumers aware of places of sales of the goods and services, their qualities, prices, functions, etc. Sales promotion. This is an activity aimed at stimulating demand for goods and services through free sample, gifts, contests among salesmen and consumers, etc. in order to stimulate their demands for the goods and services. We also have publicity. It is aimed at projecting the good image of the firm to the public also personal selling this is a face-to-face -face contact between buyers and sellers in the sales of goods and services trade fair here they display their products and they tell people in the trade fair about their qualities and functions Another question, I like the importance of marketing in the production of goods and services. One, it facilitates the sales of goods and services. Two, it uh, makes people aware of qualities, functions, uses, where, when and how goods and services are sold through advertising it assists in the proper storage of goods until the time they are needed also it provides employment opportunities to the people also it uh, completes the production process through weighing 
grading and packaging consumer protection need for protection the following are the reasons for the protection of the consumer we have sales of extremely low quality goods we also have a sales of poisonous goods sales of dangerous drinks cigarettes and art drugs rendering very poor services like reckless driving selling above fixed prices misleading advertisements and publicity and we also have wrong measurement of goods rights of consumers all over the world like forms of freedom consumers have rights these are stated by council by I me mean, these are stated by consumer education and protection council one right to be properly informed right to be heard right to safety we also have right to choose our wants right to healthy environment right to seek redress in court or the, as the case may be right to get value for money spent etc measures to protect consumers rights these are one setting up of price control board to fix prices for essential commodities and to ensure that all sellers comply with them establishment of nigeria standard organization to standardize quality of products setting up of food and drug agency that's fda and the national agency for food and drug administration and control that's NAFDAC for the inspection of food items, drugs, drinks, and portable water, and ensuring that their producers keep to the quality standard of the production. Establishment of rent tribunal to regulate rents of houses charged by landlords, landladies. Setting up of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, to enforce their members to always operate in line with their professional ethics. Establishment of Price and Income Board to fix minimum wage rates for workers. Leg legislation that protects consumers. Sales of Goods Act. It protects consumers against purchase of harmful goods and exploitation by sellers. Trade Description Act of 1969. It obliges all manufacturers to fix labels on their products and the labels should contain full details of the product or good. The prices and functions of the articles should be clearly stated among others. Consumers Credit Act. It protects the rights of consumers in credit purchases like higher purchase and so on. Let's review some questions. Briefly explain the advantages of consumer protection. One, it eliminates exploitation of consumers Two, it ensures the sales of only high quality goods. Three, it makes goods and services to be offered for sale at affordable prices. It ensures effective and efficient rendering of services as all those concerned are enforced to keep to their code of conduct. It eliminates the production and sales of dangerous goods like cocaine, India and ETC. Briefly explain the following. Rent Tribunal, Price and Income Board, Price Control and Nigeria Standard Organization. Rent Tribunal. 
It regulates rents of houses charged by land owners. Setting up of price control board to fix prices for essential commodities and to ensure that all sellers comply with them. Nigeria Standard Organization, it standardizes quality of products. We have letter of inquiry. It requires the seller or manufacturer to give details of terms of payment and delivery. Quotation. It contains the, the description and prices of goods and conditions of sale. Invoice. It contains all details relevant to the order such as the quantity of goods, packaging and delivery charges etc. Catalog. It is a document in form of a journal that contains all the goods stocked by a particular trading company, e.g. a wholesaler. Consignment notes. It is used when the carriage of goods is given to an outsider, an independent transporter, and not by the seller. Delivery notes. It is a document issued by a seller to a buyer showing the description and quantity of goods sold and delivered to him at a particular time. Terms of trade. These include trade discount. Here, it is a reduction in prices in order to create profit margin for 